A wise man once said, the Richie in me is the Richie in you. Now, now, you gotta say to yourself, you're here, why? We're here smoking cigars with just a regular guy. But isn't that what we do anyways? Maybe you're a regular guy. Maybe I'm a regular guy. I don't know. As long as it isn't four, five, one, it's fun, right? And this is not gonna work out. The, the, my stand, I have a new stand and uh, it's time to break out the new stand because this old stand has got more problems than, I'm not gonna even say. So anyways, it's a little crooked and that's fine. It's a little crooked just like your life. Hopefully it's not really crooked. You do what you gotta do, you try to walk in a straight, as a line as you can in this world. You try not to hurt people, or at least you try not to hurt people for no reason. The sign of a good man is not that he just does good. The sign of a good man is that when he does bad, he feels bad and he corrects himself. He comes back into the fold. Right, right, it is what it is. The Romacraft, Aquitaine. I must say, the band is cool, the name you can't see. It's got the Romacraft symbol. Aquitaine, you could barely see. It looks like one of those brandings. Um, let's go brand. It looks like one of those brandings, like, um, so is this, this is kind of looks like a barber pole, like a double wrapper. But like they spaced out. That's a cool way of doing it. Just literally the second wrapper, just leave space. And so, it, as, I, I don't know, anyways. Yeah, that's cool they did. It's almost like a reverse barber pole. Instead of just having two different wrappers layered, like go once around one wrapper and once around with the other wrapper in a different spot or just over it totally. Here, the outside wrapper is over the first wrapper or the second wrapper, if that makes sense, because the outside wrapper is the first wrapper, if you're looking at it. Well, it's the point is this, um, they left some spacing in between there. Quite cool. This cigar was brought to us by the Bearded Dad, a.k.a. Josh. Appreciate it, bye. Appreciate it, bye. The Richie and me is the Richie and you. This is a big old fat cigar. It feels like a 5x54. It could be 5x52, but you know what's funny? A very full pack 52 could look like a lightly packed 54. Um, if I had to guess, it's a 54. Now we're gonna get to the cut. And if I can, I prefer to cut with my Gerber pocket knife. I, I really enjoy this blade. I picked it up for $5 at a pawn shop. This is the Gerber, it's 650. It's, the steel was made in Portland, Oregon. Look at that. Um, back in the day, uh, this, this was a newer Gerber made in China. Because the only thing they make in Portland is disease. <laughs> you know it's true. It's over. You need to escape Portland. It's a bad place. Okay? It's a bad place. <laughs> okay? Pretty full pack. Pretty heavy cigar. Gonna have to use the jack. You might want to use soft, gentle heat. I can't stress that enough. I can't stress it enough. I can't stress it enough. Richie. Free Geo. Geo's gone. We won't be seeing Geo on the channel. Geo's got a girlfriend. What it is. What it is. I do. You see, Geo's got a girlfriend. That is Gio's got a girlfriend. What can we do? Soft, gentle heat. I can't stress it enough. That's all you want to do, man. Soft, gentle heat. Don't overcook the cigar. Soft, gentle heat. Yes. 
Just let the flame kiss the foot. Yes, quite right, you see, quite right. And that's that. Who? Who? this stand is a piece of shit. <laughs> this stand, the one leg's broken, the stand is sideways, it's leaning against the wall, <clears throat> from the windows to the walls. To this, it is what it is, you know. I don't have the heart to throw out this stand. I don't have the heart. Really oily looking wrapper on the outside. Quite strong off the bat. Now the... <laughs> this is the third time, and this is how I know I love you, right? That when things get go going, beep, 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 when things go wrong, Richie gets strong. You got it. When things go wrong, the Richie gets strong. That's it. Oh, this this stand keeps on having accidents. It's all right. I'll fix it. Ecuadorian Habano Lajero wrapper. The binders Cameroon. The fillers Nicaraguan. The question is, though, is this, is what we see there, is that the binder? Because that looks of high quality. So it looks more like a wrapper grade. Damn it. I'll, I'll play with this thing all night. That's what she said. So anyways. <laughs> This is gonna be, what happened in this uh, this cigar review? This guy wrestled with his iPhone stand for like an hour. It was so exciting. I don't know if that, that, that inside part there is the binder. What I'm saying is, because normally for binder, binder, binder quality leaf looks pretty rough. But maybe they chose a nice looking camera room. Um, I don't know, and I could be wrong. That's the question. I don't know. Um, and I don't know if this is like a special edition Aquitaine. I don't know. I don't know. Is there more than one Aquitaine? I feel like I know nothing about Roma Craft. Uh, although the ones I've had, I enjoyed. I don't know what Aquitaine even means. Obviously, something with water, maybe in, in Constantine, water for Constantine. That sounds that sounds like a nine, like oh, like a two thousand and three like bro band. You know, what I'm saying no, like one of those bands. Remember that? Like I don't know, My Chemical Romance, Water for Aquatine, um, Panic at the Disco. Basically, it sounds like uh, Steven Seagal movies that were never made. Coming this summer. While everyone's panicking at the disco, there's one man that will de- I forget. I might have to throw this stand out. In fact, this stand is going in the garbage. Now, if I was to stand right now, I wouldn't even stand up anymore. If you knew you were gonna get fired, would you do your last day? No. So, but I'm telling this stand right now, I'm gonna chuck you in the garbage. And he's just looking at me like a person like, I mean, because like the microphone is on one side, the wire's there. It's just kind of like, the halo lamp, lamp is like, it's kind of sad. It's medium plus strength. Not in, not a strong cigar. Not a, not a weak cigar either. Intensity's picking up. Damn it. <sighs> I kind of miss the Corolla right now. 
So off the bat, do I like this cigar? Yeah. Wow, this thing wants to keep on going. Is, is Geo controlling this thing right now? Like I've never had so many problems with this thing. This thing is done. Like it's done, done. It made it to the first week of 2023. And I promise you, this lampstand, I didn't want to get rid of it because, you know, he was old, reliable, and now he's a jam o -matic. Hmm. Strength has picked up. It is a medium full. Spice and darkness has picked up. How dark? Three quarters strength to darkness. Look at that. Three quarter strength. Right there. Three quarter strength. Right there. How dark is it? Let's use my face. The darkest cigar you ever had. The lightest cigar you ever had. Candela. Connecticut Shade. Three quarter strength. It's got three quarter strength. It's got three quarter strength. All right. How strong is it? The weakest cigar. The strongest cigar. Got three quarter. So we got three quarter darkness and three quarter strength. There you go. All right, so you got that? Hey, uh, what kind of cigar are you looking for? Really, but well, what about, I got you. I got you. And see, this is the difference when I just hang out and do cigar reviews. I really get to get into my imagination. And the camera's bending again. I don't care. Uh, this thing is alive. Um, this cigar really picked up in strength. Smoke up with his generous draw is good. Burn getting a little funky, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that up. It is a very thick looking wrapper on the outside. I need to look this up because I'm here's the thing. When I told you about this blend, I looked up Aquatane. I don't know if this is a limited edition Aquatane or a different version. Because this is like a, it's kind of like a barber pole uh, version, or is this just not a barber pole where they just left a little space so you can see the binder? You know what I'm saying though? Because what constitute a barber pole? Two con con contradicting wrappers plus a binder, is that it, right? You can't count the binder and call it a barber pole. You can't do that. Okay, quite spicy. Black pepper and red pepper. It's got that going for it. Finish is pretty long, pretty strong. I'd say about this much strength for the finish. Pretty dark roasted coffee. I must say that um, I'm not bored with this cigar. And I must say that every time I try Aroma Craft, there's something just a little different about them. And I like it. I think Roma Craft is a really interesting brand. And I think Roma Craft, the way they make their cigars and the blends they choose, and the way they choose to ferment their tobacco, whatever it is, the whole combination, I'm never bored. And I quite like them. The Roma Craft. The Crow Magnum and the other one, the Androthol, whatever. This is my first Aquatane. Not to be confused with Aquatate or Aqua Taint, which that is a movie you should never watch. I guess if you're into adult aquatics, that's your business, but this is Aquatane, not Aquataint. Aquatane. Insane in the Aquatane. I don't know. Just, I'm just filling things out. I'm just, I'm just bird shotting everything, seeing what lands. I don't know. Rich roasted coffee, pretty dark earth, and a good amount of black and red pepper. So it's not an exotic feeling cigar, yet the blend still feels different. When I describe flavor notes, that's only one factor to the cigar. The strength, the length of the finish, how it hits you, what notes are speaking in the percentage, right? Because if you have four notes you're picking up, it doesn't mean each note's getting 25%. <clears throat> or it could be, if the cigar is very balanced. And so there's a, a lot of factors. 
Overall, the cigar is impressive. I like it. I'm gonna see how it goes on. It's enjoyable. So right now off the bat, I'm just gonna say definitely try out one, which is a good recommendation. You know what I'm saying though? I can't say five pack of box worthy because I gotta see how it hits. So it's not like a godlike cigar off the bat, so no, I can't say that and I won't lie. But it is a very delicious cigar. Um, it's quite impressive in strength. Um, and it's, it, it overall feels a little bit unique against the grain. It doesn't feel like a common Nicaraguan cigar, which is straight earth and black pepper. The whole message uh, feels quite nice. Holding the smoke, a good amount of strong cedar there as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, <clears throat> there's gonna be a lot of editing on this video. It's like 60 different videos, and it is what it is. The Richie and me is the is the Richie and you. It is a very slow burning cigar. I will touch up the burn in a little bit, uh, but that's okay, man. Considering it has either two wrappers or that spacing in between, I can't see how that's gonna burn perfectly because. It's not an even amount of tobacco, you know? Like this wrapper is pretty thick, and then all of a sudden it's gonna go to this space here and then burn much faster, and then... So, we'll see what happens, but I do like the cigar. The wrapper feels good. The band is interesting. The band is the same color as the wrapper, so attention to detail, or as close as they could get to the wrapper. I like this cigar. So here we are, <clears throat> deep into the cigar. <clears throat> the cigar is actually really good. However, I'm getting a terrible burn, and there might be two factors. One, I'm outside and it's quite cold, probably about 38 degrees right now. Temperature really dropped. That could be a factor. Um, the other factor is, um, this is actually a barber pole. So I, upon doing further research, <clears throat> this is not a regular Aquitaine. This is an Aquitaine saber tooth. And what does that mean? The saber tooth um, means that it, ha it is a barber pole. Um, the barber pole. So it is the Ecuadorian Havana the Hero wrapper. However, they do put a Connecticut shade wrapper underneath it to make it a barber pole. Um, although they just barely show it, but still. Then it still has the binder and fillers, the camera and binder and fillers. So that might be affecting having a barber pole uh, can always affect the burn. But that being said too, it is it is uh, rather cold and I cannot feel my hands. So that might be affecting the cigar. All right, because cold tobacco is, is sad tobacco. And what's even more sad is this, uh, this, this stand, which is gonna go in the garbage tonight. Tonight it's going in the garbage. And so this will be, this is gonna go rest with Ash God. Um, ah, shit. I'm trying to get off this other band without damaging the cigar. So the cigar performance is perfect. The band though, I mean the, the burn, uh, okay here, a little wonk. And then here just got a little, little screwy. So we're gonna drop the ash and I think I'm gonna do a major touch up. Let's try to get rid of that band. I am enjoying the cigar. It's staying around a nice medium to full. Um, some sweetness kicked in, and it is a rather nice, like a citrus note of orange, which is funny because we were talking about that, and ironically, I get a cigar that uh, uh, has a citrus note, and it really does. And I'm not sure if that's the combination with the offset of the wrappers. It does have a Cameroon binder, and I think Cameroon, the Connecticut shade, goes very well. Uh, but the cigar is operating even this cold temperature so the burn maybe we can give a little pass in this cold temperature and that's what it is it is rather cold no cigar likes 30 something 38 37 degrees it's not good for cigars it's not good for it and it is what it is It was interesting, this cigar was, it really had some uniqueness to it. Where would I rate it on my scale of zero through five with the point system? 
I think a 4.1. I like the cigar. Um, the problem is this, though. I think it's discontinued. The regular Aquitaine, I think, is still available. Pretty sure about that. I saw it for sale. However, on the one website that had this cigar, the, the Sabertooth model, it said, no longer available. So, does that mean you can't get the cigar? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe it's still available in limited quantities. Six of one half of the other. So does that mean that, is this gonna be similar to the regular Aquitaine without the extra, uh, extra wrapper, having a Connecticut wrapper shade underneath the Habano Ecuador? I don't know, it definitely would, would change it up a little bit. Um, so essentially it was the same cigar with an extra, an extra wrapper. Um, I think it would change the blend, it has to, legally, but it can't be, it's not gonna be dramatic because you're talking about a Connecticut shade. Uh, but yeah, the cigar is quite nice. Well, you hold the smoke, it has complete, uh, co complexity. It's quite rich, it's also quite creamy. I like it. Uh, the, the Roma Craft cigars, they're, they're always quality, you know, and, and a great smoke and a good finish. Um, I think they're a really well thought out, a really well made mid tier brand. That gives you a lot for your money. And, and it's one of the rare times that a boutique brand, in a sense, um, isn't, uh, you know, bullshit. And uh, the price is not astronomical. Um, how much is the regular Aquitaine? I don't know. You're going to have to look that up because now I'm a little confused. That being said, um, from what he said, I think the Aquitaine might be one of the more expensive um, Roma crafts. Um, so I don't know. But the main thing is it was enjoyable. So if you're looking for a three quarter strength, a three quarter, I'm sorry, if you're looking, could we do it again? If you're looking for a three quarter darkness with a three quarter strength cigar, I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it. And I know what you're saying, Richie, something's different about you, Richie. That's right. Richie got a haircut. Oh, I went back to my old style, my New York roots. What happened? The Richie, what happened? I mean, I still got a full head of hair for a sub 40 year old man, 39 plus a month. It is what it is. I'm doing okay. Eat your prunes every night. Drink plenty of filtered water. Eat vegetables every day. Eat fruit. Eat lots of prunes. I can't stress it enough. You gotta keep yourself, you gotta clean yourself out. If you're watching this, you're probably a guy between 30 and 50 years old. You gotta eat prunes every day. At least four, have four prunes every night. I promise you, you're gonna feel better in a week. I can't stress it enough. If you wanna spice it up, try six a night. Ooh, ooh, you're, 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 you're gonna just, it's, it's like cleaning out a cesspool. You're not gonna believe the sin it's going to take out of your body. So do I recommend this? I do. Um, by the box, I don't think boxes are available, but I definitely recommend trying it out. 4.1, which is a solid recommendation. Um, I like it. So I'll see you around. You take care of yourself. It is a good cigar. It is quite tasty. It is quite cold outside right now. I really can't stay, baby. It's, it's cold outside. We're done here. Getting into my last third. Um, nothing more to say. So you hang out. You do what you gotta do. We'll see you at the lounge if you come on by. Remember, respect is the only password you need in my lounge. Respect, respect, and this thing keeps looking down. And I think this thing was trained by Harvey Weinstein. The camera's just like, eh, it's the camera's a, this camera, man. My, my face is up here. Well, this stand's going in the garbage. So I'll see you around.